world's first all-electric autonomous container ship. Hey, where's the captain? Norwegian company Yara and maritime technology firm Kongsberg are teaming up to build the world's first all-electric autonomous container ship. The state-of-the-art ship will transport chemicals and fertilizers from a Yara production plant to nearby towns. The plan is for the boat to first be operated by a crew in 2018, before transitioning into remote operations by 2019, and then fully autonomous by 2020. By transitioning to an all-electric shipping pathway, Yara can cut down 40,000 truck deliveries in a year, which translates into reductions in nitrogen oxide and carbon dioxide emissions. Moving transport to an electric ship will also help improve road safety while reducing noise and dust pollution. Want to stay afloat? Keep watching. Norway announces an engineering world first. Norway will spend $315 million on the world's first ship tunnel in a bid to improve maritime safety and cut journey times. The 1,700 meter long tunnel will carve through the solid rock of the Stad Peninsula in western Norway, allowing ships weighing up to 16,000 tons to pass between two fjords. The tunnel will allow cargo vessels and passenger ships to navigate more safely through the Stadhavet Sea. The width between the tunnel walls is 36 meters. A traffic light system will be used to show when it's safe to pass. The team behind the tunnel expects that five ships per hour will be able to pass through it. Construction on the project will begin by 2019 at the earliest, with completion expected by 2023. World's largest cruise ship prepares to set sail. The largest cruise ship ever built arrived in the English port of Southampton on Tuesday, ready to set sail on its maiden voyage. At 362 meters long, Harmony of the Seas is longer than the height of the Eiffel Tower and can hold 6,780 passengers. Among the ship's many facilities are 20 restaurants, 23 swimming pools, a 10-story water slide, two surf simulators, a full-size basketball court, and an ice skating rink. Robotic arms at the ship's bionic bar can mix and serve two drinks per minute. Passengers are given a wristband known as the WOW Band, which works as a room key and can be used to pay for dinner and shopping on board. The ship will leave Southampton for Rotterdam on May 22nd. It will then sail to ports in Spain, France, and Italy. Harmony of the Seas is the 25th ship in the Royal Caribbean International Cruise Lines fleet. It cost a billion dollars and took two and a half years to build. Japanese helicopter carrier set to escort U.S. Navy ship for the first time. Japan's aircraft carrier-like destroyer left Yokosuka Naval Base on Monday to escort a U.S. supply vessel. This is the first time Japan's Navy has made this kind of deployment after new legislation was passed allowing for such action. Japan's JS Izumo helicopter carrier is 814 feet long and weighs 27,000 tons when fully loaded. It is the largest warship in Japan. It is shorter than China's Liaoning aircraft carrier and the USS George H.W. Bush. The JS Izumo is armed with three Phalanx SeaWiz point defense guns and two SeaRam last-ditch interceptor missiles. The vessel normally carries seven SH-60J anti-submarine warfare helicopters. For decades, Japan's constitution forbade the country's self-defense forces from rendering aid to allies. However, the country enacted new security legislation last March, expanding the scope of the Self-Defense Force's overseas missions. Norway and the UK building world's first unmanned ship for offshore ops. A Norwegian shipyard known for making waves in green marine technology is now set to build the world's first autonomous ship for commercial use, Krun. As an unmanned vessel, Krun will be remotely controlled, keeping humans away from potential dangers at sea. Krun will be designed for a variety of missions, such as hydrographic surveying and support for open water fish farms. The ship will also be used to transport light, intermodal cargo, and make deliveries to offshore installations. When acting as a standby vessel, Krum will be able to provide firefighting support to offshore platforms when needed. Construction of Run is scheduled to begin in January 2017. It will then be put through sea trials, with plans for it to be available for field operations in 2018.